Telesel is the smallest of three mobile operators with over two and a half million subscribers. Sale of its majority shareholding was agreed in November last year after Vimpelcom gave in to pressure to comply with the country's empowerment laws that require foreign-owned companies to sell controlling shareholding to locals. The acquisition was done through Zarnet, a government-owned internet service provider. Telesel's remaining 40% equity in the hands of an indigenous consortium, Empowerment Corporation, could soon come under government control too. The Empowerment Corporation is interested in selling to government, according to the ICT minister. The government also owns the country's only fixed-line operator, Tel One. Its consolidation of telecom's assets could give impetus to its long-term goal of infrastructure sharing. Currently, there's a tussle between uh, state-owned infrastructure and private entities, and uh, the largest operator has the largest um, footprint in terms of infrastructure that's been laid out for telecoms across the country. But by buying another operator, the government is able to move towards a firmer hold on the stance on infrastructure sharing. The acquisition could also give Telesel more financial muscle to take on its competitors. In cases where Telesel needs to uh, seek funding to expand its network, to uh, venture into new technologies, there's only one owner or one visible owner who's able to lobby for financing or capital to set that into motion. As, as we've seen already with what the government has done with its other operator, NetOne, was able to secure a $218 million facility for the expansion of uh, its telecoms infrastructure. That loan has funded NetOne's rollout of 4G LTE technology. Benefits that Telesel subscribers could enjoy too if the new owner is able to negotiate similar lines of credit. Farai Mwakutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.